How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some of the most mysterious videos going around the internet. So smash that subscribe button right now and get ready for some creepy content. Just like this. Our first clip of the day was uploaded to Twitter by Sidio Paranormal. It's some freaky footage captured inside of an unknown hospital. Take a look. Andate la mierda. Pero que es eso? As you can see, the wheelchair appears to move all by itself. Con chesum. Me cago. Andate la mierda. Naturally, this eerie video has gone viral on Twitter with loads of comments pouring in trying to figure out what exactly is going on here. One commenter noted that you can clearly see the wheelchair's reflection on the polished floor, but there doesn't appear to be a shadow of a string or wire that could be making the chair move. With all the death and suffering that hospitals see, many paranormal experts believe that spirits often linger on in these places because of the trauma experienced prior to death. It's as though their souls are tethered to the site and can't properly cross over to the afterlife. In hospitals all around the world, nurses often report strange and creepy experiences while on shift. From unexplainable noises to outright paranormal activity, many nurses have experienced things that can't be explained. But is this a common experience? A quick survey of nursing forums and message boards reveals that many nurses have indeed had some sort of paranormal experience while on the job. Whether it's hearing strange noises, seeing apparitions, or feeling an unexplained presence, these experiences seem to be fairly common. We often get comments on our videos from healthcare providers saying they've experienced things while on the job that they can't quite explain. So is this footage evidence that hospitals really are a magnet for paranormal energy? Do the souls of those who die there linger on not knowing they've really passed away? Drop your theories on this down below. Also, if you're a healthcare worker, share your stories and let us know if you've experienced anything paranormal. Pero que es eso? These days it seems the best scary footage is often captured on security cameras. This video uploaded to the AMA Media channel on YouTube certainly seems to prove that point. Take a look. Judging by the timestamp, the clip was recorded a little after 2am. At first, it looks like it shows some sort of creature walking into view. However, after a few seconds, you can see that it's actually a person walking backwards on all fours. The figure shuffles slowly past the camera until it eventually disappears from view. Apparently, another camera was able to catch the figure's movements, this time as it makes its way down an alleyway. Watch. As it approaches the camera, its face comes into view. It's pale and appears to have dark, sunken eyes. While there's little denying that these clips are unnerving, one keen-eyed viewer noticed that the figure in the first video appears to be wearing a dress while the figure in the second video does not. There's also no timestamp in the second video, making it difficult to prove the two clips were recorded at the same time. Despite this, these videos are sure to creep anyone out that sees them. Imagine checking your security camera in the morning only to see this thing crawling past your window at 2 a.m.
Our first clip of the day was sent to us by Alva Gonzalez. It's some security footage captured at his work. Take a look. Everything was going smooth and I felt something brush my leg. I don't know what it was. I felt it right there. I looked down, I put my hand around like, what the hell was that? I moved the pillow and I thought I saw something. And then I'm like, what the hell was that? Gonzalez said he was busy at work when he thought he felt something brush up against his leg under the tattoo bench. I don't know what it was. I felt it right there. I looked down, I put my hand around. You can see him looking around to see if there's anything there. And I thought I saw something. And then I'm like, what the hell was that? And I looked around like, did anybody else see that? Then I looked in there, I reached in there, and I saw an actual hand. However, if you slow it down, you can actually see what appears to be a hand. You can see Gonzalez look through the hole, but there's nothing there. If this footage is genuine, then it's truly a strange one. According to the title of the clip, Gonzalez thinks something paranormal might be afoot here, but just what exactly is going on remains a complete mystery. And then I'm like, what the hell was that? Gonzalez later messaged us saying that he contacted the man he had just tattooed prior to this sighting. He explained what had happened and the man said in private that he had just participated in an eight-day ritual appeasing La Santa Muerte. In Spanish folklore and Mexican neo-paganism, Santa Muerte is seen as the saint of holy death. She's associated with death, healing and protection, and her cult has been growing in popularity since the early 21st century. La Santa Muerte is usually depicted as a female skeleton dressed in a long robe holding a global scythe. She's often associated with colours such as white, red or black. Devotees of La Santa Muerte believe she can intercede on their behalf with God and other saints, and that she's especially powerful in matters relating to death. So could the eight-day ritual praying to the saint of death have something to do with his eerie hand and its sudden disappearance? Whatever the case may be, Gonzalez was so irked by the whole situation he told the customer to never return to his tattoo parlour ever again. I moved the pillow and I thought I saw something. And then I'm like, what the hell was that? Over the last few months, there have been numerous sightings of an unidentified flying object hovering over Medellin, Colombia, prompting theories that an alien craft is surveying the area. The incidents were compiled by the Instagram account BD Maestro number one. The most recent sighting took place on August 3, 2022, when several tourists spotted a strange craft floating near the Medellin airport. Take a look. What the f is that? Like, look, look, there's a plane. There's a plane because we have an airport here, like to the left, to the right, to the right of me. What is that? What the f is that? At one point, you can even see a commercial aircraft flying nearby to the mysterious object. What the f is that? Like, look, look, there's a plane. There's a plane because we have an airport here, like to the left, to the right, to the right of me. What is that? Whatever it is, it floats in stark contrast to the plane cruising below. Prior to this, on June 27, a very similar looking object was seen hovering over the city. It was also spotted on the 9th of April. Here you can see the object moving through the air rather than hovering in one spot. Then on the 10th of January, it was seen again. It was even seen as far back as December 2021. Here we can see it sitting among some dense clouds. It seems Colombia is no stranger to UFO sightings, with hundreds of reports logged over the last few decades. What makes these sightings even more mysterious and frankly quite creepy are the reports of an alien worshipping cult that went missing back in the late 1990s. Stellamaris were a doomsday cult based in Cartagena, Colombia. 
Founded in 1989 by Rodolfo Perez, the group prophesied an end of day scenario where mankind was doomed to suffer a cataclysmic event. According to their charismatic leader, the only way to survive the disaster was to make contact with an alien race, who would select a chosen few to be taken off world. And while so far this sounds like fairly standard doomsday cult ramblings, it's what happened in June and July of 1999 that makes this event truly bizarre. Local authorities were already keeping a close eye on the cult's compound after numerous reports from concerned family members were filed, noting that they believed their loved ones had been brainwashed and that they feared for their safety. At the time, authorities were on high alert after what had happened at Jonestown in the late 70s, when close to a thousand people took their own lives. Then, in early July 1999, local police noted a lot of activity at the Stella Maris compound. It was though they were getting ready for some kind of event. As many as a hundred members were seen marching into the wilderness, including entire families. Their official statement said that they were heading to their annual retreat in the Sierra Nevada mountains, but it soon became apparent that they were actually heading to an area known for regular UFO sightings deep in the jungle. Soon after, no contact was ever made again. It's as though the entire 100 people vanished off the face of the earth. After an exhaustive search, authorities could find no trace of the group whatsoever. Their compound had been left untouched, all their belongings remained, but the entire property was eerily empty. A wider search of the area found no evidence of the group and no bodies or belongings were ever recovered. All 100 members had vanished. This spooky event prompted all kinds of theories. Many thought it was another example of Jonestown and a mass suicide had taken place, but no bodies were ever found. Others thought perhaps they were kidnapped, as the wilderness where they were last spotted is known to be patrolled by dangerous militants. But no ransom was ever issued, nor was there any evidence of a kidnapping. Finally, after months of exhaustive searches with little to no evidence turning up, people began to wonder whether the cult had actually been abducted by aliens. Given their beliefs and that they had set off in search of UFOs, it's certainly strange that as many as 100 people could go missing without a trace. To this day, no one really knows what happened to the Stella Maris cult. Over the years, some fringe members have come forward saying that they never really believed in aliens. But it still doesn't account for the missing people that marched off into the jungle that day back in July of 1999. All 100 members of the Stella Maris cult are still on Columbia's missing persons list, and the case remains unsolved. Reddit user CannabisT13 has shared a clip that's garnered hundreds of views and plenty of speculation. The security camera shows us a large backyard of a house. A few seconds into the video, we can see something odd in the right of frame. Take a look. It looks to be a transparent figure with a strange misty quality. It seems to walk a few feet forward before disappearing. For about 10 seconds, nothing else seems to happen. Then suddenly, we can hear what sounds like a haunting scream, though where this scream is coming from is unknown. Fellow Redditors offered several suggestions to bring ease of mind to the original poster. Some believe this spirit was actually just a bit of fog, smoke, or even someone's vape. Some also thought it could be a timed sprinkler whose water happened to catch the light. This would explain why the so-called spirit seems to disappear after just a few moments. As for the eerie sound that's heard at the end, some went with insects, others with wind, and one went with a passing car. Our brains tend to rationalize strange events to help make sense of the world and to manage our fear. And so while we can throw out ideas like sprinklers and cars passing by to help ease the anxiety, there's a part of us, deep down, that wonders if there's more to life than we can perceive. Could this strange sighting be a glimpse into the realm of the paranormal?
Every year, Instagram user Dorinda Marino treats their mum to a ghost investigation session on her birthday. They often travel to famous mansions and run a group session on the property. In this clip, we see the group running an experiment with a ball. Watch what happens. Watching that again, the ball rolls, then stops. The group initially thinks it could just be the wind, but when the ball spins off in multiple directions, the group is shocked. It's not known where exactly this investigation took place, so it's hard to dig a little deeper and research the history of the property. Naturally, this bizarre clip has since gone viral, with hundreds of people chiming in in the comments section trying to make sense of what happened. There are a few contrasting theories. Some say a string must be pulling the ball, while others think it's a demonic presence compelling the ball to move on its own. That's the No, no, that's not the wind, that's not the wind. Oh, boy. So what do you think? Are we seeing some genuine paranormal activity here? Or is it all just a hoax? Drop your theories in the comments down below. Many of us had imaginary friends as children. It seems that it's all part of growing up. But what if these friends were not so imaginary after all? Take a look at this photo uploaded to Facebook by user Laredo Paranormal Stories. In it, we can see that there appears to be a second figure next to the boy in the blue shirt. The figure's face looks pale, even skeletal. Its hair appears disheveled and wild and its body almost seems to be a black void. The photo was captured by the poster's husband. The poster believes that it shows their son playing with his imaginary friend, Pauline. It seems that the picture freaked the family out so much that shortly after it was taken, they decided to move home. Despite the figure's creepy appearance, several viewers thought that it didn't look as though it posed a threat to the boy. In fact, one viewer even suggested that it could have been the boy's guardian angel. So what do you think this photo shows? Is it really the child's imaginary friend? If it is, then one has to wonder whether or not she followed the family to their new house. Everyone loves a good haunted hotel story, and the Haunted Magnolia Hotel in Seguin, Texas has one of the best. 30 years after its opening in the 1870s, tragedy struck when young Emma Volker was murdered by Wilhelm Faust. Since then, the hotel is said to be haunted by little Emma, as well as a plethora of other ghosts, according to modern day owners, Erin and Jim Getty. The Getty couple decided to purchase the property in 2013 with the hopes of refurbishing it back to its previous glory. While they've managed to renovate the hotel, they've not been alone in their journey, claiming to be surrounded by at least 13 ghostly presences on a daily basis. Footage recently taken by Aaron Getty may just be proof of this mysterious haunting. In the video, we see footage of one of the hotel room's interior. On the floor are a toy ball and a set of tiny REM pods, a piece of ghost hunting equipment that is said to detect paranormal activity. Watch what happens. We can immediately see the ball move seemingly of its own accord and the REM pods flash on and off.
Now keep an eye on the wedding dress hanging to the right of room. It seems to be lifted by some unseen force. To the left, at the door entrance, what looks to be a shadowy figure slithers into the room and slips under the table. The owners believe that the footage actually shows multiple ghosts at play, which would give a reason as to why several objects seem to move all at once. They also believe that the shadowy figure presented here is named Mrs. Reed, and that she watches over the ghostly children who occupy the hotel. However, commentators on the post of the video remain skeptical, with many believing that air conditioning or an open window letting a draft in could explain much of the movement. In response, the owners emphasised that no AC or fan was on at the time and the hotel was completely empty. It also wouldn't explain the shadowy figure that creeps in the doorway. Could it really be that this hotel is a hotbed for ghostly activity? Watch the video again and judge for yourself. This eerie image was submitted to our Slaptam subreddit by user the real Ricky Lafleur. It was taken outside of the front of a daycare centre in Alberta, Canada. The OP said they spotted a strange figure on the roof and snapped this photo. In the pic, you can see a thin humanoid figure crouching on top of the roof. According to the post, the uploader believes it could be a rare type of cryptid known as a juju. They even said that bystanders saw it crawl under the roof's tiling. In Bangladesh folklore, there's a little known creature known as a juju. It's said to lurk on the edges of the sprawling tea plantations in the hilly region of Silet. Reports say it's a thin, hairy creature with piercing red eyes and long, sharp claws. Locals say it sits in the woods waiting for stray children to walk by, then drags them deep into the wilderness, never to be seen again. I'm not really sure why the OP thinks that this could be a juju, given that it's a rare cryptid that's said to only live on tea plantations in Bangladesh. Either way, it's certainly an odd sighting. The thin limbs and crouched posture would be enough to spook anyone passing by. In this next video, we see Mexican paranormal researcher Alberto Del Arco as he investigates a mysterious place named the Desert of the Lions. The area is said to be home to many paranormal manifestations, and it isn't long before he catches something unusual on camera. Take a look. Cuidado atrás, no te vas a caer. Ay, te juro que se me hizo ver alguien pasar por allá. Por allá. Como si se hubiera cruzado. At first, it's rather hard to notice. However, if we slow the footage right down, you can see a ghostly shape moving past the bush. The investigator continues his exploration of the area and is soon startled when an object suddenly falls to the ground. <laughs> Eventually, the YouTuber reaches an old property deep within the woods. Después de un rato, hemos vuelto nuevamente a la casa. Está peligroso, güey. Estar así por la noche no. He and the cameraman begin searching the nearby trees. Deberíamos de buscar el camino al coche nuevamente. ¿Qué fue eso? Sí, ¿qué fue? However, as they do, the cameraman inadvertently manages to capture a dark figure moving in one of the windows. Take a look. Again, it's hard to see, but when the footage is slowed down, it becomes more obvious. The investigator continues to search the area, but soon decides to leave and the video abruptly ends. So who or what could this mysterious figure have been? Was it a person or perhaps something supernatural? Let me know your theories on this sighting in the comments down below.
This next one comes from one of our viewers, Jack Bell. Bell wrote to us saying that he and a friend had recently captured some photos in an old pool hall in Stockport, Manchester, UK. The pair were standing at the front door at noon, waiting patiently for the hall to open up. Eventually, the manager unlocked the door and Bell and his friend went to the back of the building where there's a quiet section filled with snooker tables. Bell took a snap of his friend taking the first break of the day. He uploaded the snap to Facebook and thought nothing of it. However, a short while later, his mum commented on the photo wondering who the ominous black figure in the background was. Confused, Bell took a look and indeed, there's an unknown dark figure standing in the background. Bell and his friend were the only ones in the back room at the time as the hall had only just opened for the day. Bell says there's only one door into this area and that they actually had to turn the lights on when they first arrived. They're certain that no one else was in the room at the time this photo was taken. Freaked out by the photo, the pair showed the manager the snap. The manager said that a lot of staff don't like opening or closing the building because they often feel like someone's watching them or they catch a dark shadowy figure out the corner of their eyes. But when they look around, there's no one ever there. Some staff members have even reported hearing the toilet doors swinging and banging all on their own. Bell says the snooker hall opened back in 1984, but the building itself was an old mill dating back more than 100 years prior. There are few cities in the United Kingdom that can rival Manchester when it comes to stories of hauntings and paranormal activity. The city has a long rich history dating back centuries and it seems that many of the spirits who once inhabited its streets may still linger today. One of the most well-known haunted locations in Manchester is Central Library. The building is said to be home to a number of ghosts including the spirit of a librarian who died in the 1930s. Visitors to the library have reported seeing her apparition wandering the stacks as well as feeling an icy presence. Another famous haunting surrounds the curious tale of the Manchester Mummy. Hannah Beswick was an affluent woman who, like many of her mid-18th century contemporaries, had a pathological fear of being buried alive. At the time, premature burial was rife as there were many medical uncertainties about the final signs of death. After her passing in 1758, Hannah Beswick's body was embalmed and kept above ground in an old clock case at Dr. Charles White's home in Sale, Manchester. Eventually, her body was donated to the Museum of the Manchester Natural History Society, where she became known as the Manchester Mummy. Now, here's where things get a little spooky. Before Beswick died, she told her family that she had hidden a large sum of her fortune in a secret location. However, she died before she was able to tell anyone where exactly she had hidden her gold. After she died, her palatial estate, Birch and Bower, was converted into workers' tenements. Years later, many residents living in the converted building claimed to see a strange woman in a black silk gown wearing a white cap. They said the woman looked exactly like Hannah Beswick. The witnesses claimed that the figure would float eerily through the parlour, then vanish at one particular flagstone. It's said that this sighting would take place time and time again. Then a few months later, when renovations were taking place to install a new loom, a weaver discovered a hoard of gold stashed under the flagstone, right where Beswick's apparition would allegedly disappear. Years later, the entire building was demolished to make way for a factory, and even then, workers reported seeing a strange lady dressed in black walking through the yard. So then, there appears to be no shortage of paranormal stories lingering in the old streets of Manchester. Could our viewer, Jack Bell, have snapped his own piece of history with this eerie Shadow Man sighting? Take another look and decide for yourself. A TikToker has captured some eerie footage at a historical site in England that has many questioning whether it's a ghost caught on camera. User Sabcarl8890 recently did a tour of the historical Aston Hall in Birmingham, England, when they spotted something rather unusual in one of the rooms. In one of the wings of the Grade 1 Heritage listed property, the TikToker believes they've captured the spirit of a woman named Mary. Watch what happens. Mary? Did you see it? Mary? 
Slowing that down, a shadow seems to float past the doorway. Then it happens again, right at the end of the clip. Mary. Are you still in there, Mary? My name's Thomas. Hello. Hello. Aston Hall is a grand Jacobian manor built in the early 17th century. The stately mansion, which sits on a sprawling estate in Birmingham, England, has long been rumoured to be haunted. The stories began in the early 1800s when strange noises and sightings of ghosts were reported by staff. These reports continued into the 20th century, with objects moving on their own and doors opening and closing by themselves. Aston Hall is often regarded as one of the most haunted properties in the United Kingdom. One of the most prominent ghostly tales that linger on the property surrounds a young woman named Mary Holt. Mary was the daughter of a wealthy landowner, Thomas Holt, who built Aston Hall in 1618. It's said that Mary was imprisoned against her will for 16 years in a tiny cell in one of the wings of the home. Her father cruelly locked her up for eloping with a young servant boy who worked at the manor. Historical accounts either say she died of malnutrition or, more tragically, managed to escape her tiny room, but in doing so, tripped down the grand staircase of the home and broke her neck. Since her death, staff and visitors alike have reported seeing the grey ghostly figure of a woman drift through the halls of the old mansion. So could this TikToker have captured the ghost of Mary Holt on camera? Take another look and judge for yourself. Mary? Did you see it? My name's Thomas. Hello. Is there really an afterlife? If so, can the living and the dead somehow communicate? If you're a non-believer, then this photo uploaded to Reddit by Crypto Knight 10 might just change your mind. It shows what appears to be words etched into glass. The poster claims that they noticed it one day while taking a shower and that it wasn't there before. The scratchings couldn't be wiped away either as they're actually inside the double pane glass. After posting the photo to Reddit, one viewer thought that they might have decoded the message. They believe that if you make the image black and white and adjust the exposure, it looks like it says, my death is okay, sorry it hurts you. When the poster was asked by another viewer if they had a relative that it might be, they replied, Yes, I do actually. My best friend was my cousin. He was a professional baseball player. He died in a motorcycle accident a few years before I saw this. So take another look at the photo and let me know what you think it says in the comments down below. This bizarre sighting was uploaded to the YouTube channel Paseo Infinito. This footage was captured by a homeowner who noticed that his neighbour was doing something strange on their back porch. Take a look at what he saw. <laughs> the woman appears to be swaying quickly back and forth. The creepy thing is, the homeowner says his neighbour had been doing this weird motion for hours and hours. He first noticed her at 6am. It's not known what the woman was actually doing, but the fact that she had been spotted moving back and forth for hours certainly makes this sighting unnerving. This next weird piece of footage was uploaded to Twitter by Sitio Paranormal. Shows a young woman practicing a dance in front of the camera. It's all fairly normal until this happens. Watching that again slowed down, the cupboard door opens. Then a mysterious dark object flies out of it.
If we zoom in, it's hard to tell what exactly it is, but it almost looks like a fish. Some replies to the clip suggested it could be a bird or even a rat escaping the closet. But how does a rat float through the air like this? Of course, there's also a high probability that it's all set up to garner some much sought after internet views. So where do you sit on this one? Prank or something more mysterious? And what even is that strange object? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Imagine your entire property being haunted by something otherworldly. Unfortunately, that seems to be the case for Slaptown viewer Tanya JD in Van Cleve, Mississippi. Tanya believes her property is haunted. Numerous sightings of shadowy figures and strange occurrences around the house led Tanya to believe something supernatural was afoot. In a set of photos, Tanya gives evidence of a shadowy figure wandering outside of her property. In the first photo, we can see what looks to be a shadow standing still on the right side of the frame. In the second photo she shared, the figure is gone. These photos were taken just moments apart. A friend of Tanya's began doing some research as to the history of the property. They discovered that the area used to be a Native American burial ground. Here's Tanya describing some of the eerie events that have been plaguing her house. I'm wondering if I should get a priest out here or something. I done saged my house. I don't think the spirits, if it is haunted, are bad, but bad things has been happening. Like, we're all in bed June um, 3rd, and all of a sudden, my soul catches on fire and almost burns my kitchen down. Um, we've been hearing knocks on the front door. We go answer it, nobody's there. Um, the doors has been coming open. We go to bed, um, wake up the next morning. Every cabinet in our kitchen is opened. Um, my son weighed on this scale um, three times and it weighed 666. I don't know how to react to some of this, but it's really starting to spook me the hell out. <laughs> Tanya also shared a video of some activity happening in her bedroom. In the video, she's sitting on her bed when she calls out for any spirits to make themselves known. If there's somebody in here, open the door. Suddenly, the door to her room opens on its own. Her pet cat sitting on the edge of the bed stares at the door. I'm literally about to run out this house. Mike. Oh my God. Look at my cat's over there looking. The door is literally just open and shutting on its own. Look at... Okay. That is weird. We all see there's nothing down there. I don't know what the f*** is going on, but that shit is weird. What is it? There goes again. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. That's enough. F that. In another video she shared, we can see the outside of her property once again. Strange lights flash on and off throughout the video, and a grey figure appears out of thin air. The figure walks through the yard before the video ends. There's certainly a lot to unravel with Tanya's story, but what is clear is that something abnormal seems to have taken over her property. Are the shadowy figures caught on tape the same ones opening the cabinet doors and setting stovetops on fire? Tanya doesn't believe the spirits are necessarily bad, but she does recognise that bad things are happening to her. The question is, what can she do to stop this activity? The following wild footage was shared to the Instagram account The UFO God. 
It's not exactly known where this sighting takes place, but some viewers think it's somewhere in Chile. In the clip, it's clear some hikers are celebrating reaching the summit of a mountain range when they spot something unusual in the distance. Take a look. In the valley below, there's a strange orb of glowing light. As the camera zooms in, it becomes apparent that the light is triangular in shape and almost looks like it's pulsing. Whatever it is, it just hovers in the air, shining brightly. Some commenters suggested it could just be a window or piece of metal catching the light in the valley below. And given the angle, perhaps it's an optical illusion making it look like it's hovering in mid-air. Others didn't buy this theory at all. Some said it could be a portal to another dimension or some kind of interstellar alien craft. So what do you think's going on here? Is this just an optical illusion or are we seeing something a little more mysterious? Watch the clip again and make your own mind up. Ever wondered what strange undiscovered creatures might be lurking deep in the wilderness? If it's never crossed your mind, then this photo uploaded to our Slaptam subreddit by ZestyCloseAD4391, it might just make you think about it more often. According to the poster, the image was captured by their friend. It shows the woods of Kentucky as their family were travelling to their cabin. At first, it seems completely normal. Dense foliage by the side of the gravel road. However, if you zoom in on the left-hand side of the photo, about halfway up, you can see something that'll likely give you chills. It appears to be a large dog or wolf-like creature. It has piercing wide eyes and it looks as though it's snarling, revealing large sharp fangs. It's even been suggested that the creature resembles a werewolf. So what do you think this beast might be? A large dog or wolf perhaps? Maybe a bear? Or could it be some sort of cryptid yet to be discovered by modern science? Unfortunately for now, the creature's identity will have to remain a mystery. This next creepy photo was sent to us by one of our viewers, Carol Botha. Carol says that this unsettling photo hangs on the wall of her friend's childhood home. It was already on the wall when their parents bought the home decades ago, and they've just left it there ever since. In the photo, you can see a horse standing at attention. In the background, you can see that there's actually a shadow of a person sitting on the horse. What's even more unsettling is that the homeowner says that quite often as many as a hundred flies will sit on the frame of this picture. You can even see a fly in the top left hand corner of this photo. Many paranormal experts believe that whenever a specific place or object attracts a swarm of flies, it could mean there is a curse or demonic presence nearby. For centuries, the symbolism of the fly has been associated with death and pestilence. For example, in Mesopotamian mythology, Nergal is the god of death. He's closely linked to suffering and disaster and is often depicted as a swarm of flies. Christians later associated Nergal with a demonic presence. So what's going on with this photo then? Why does the shadow depict a rider? And why do hundreds of flies often cling to its frame? It seems the more you stare at this image, the more unsettling it becomes. While a pleasant stroll in the woods can be a nice way to spend the day, once the sun goes down, it can be a completely different story. Take a look at this image captured on Redditor, Ray the Master's friend's trail camera. Although some viewers have suggested that the ghostly shape could simply be a regular person, there's certainly something otherworldly about it. The cam, which has a motion detector, snaps photos every three seconds when the sensor is triggered. It took several consecutive photos, but only one reveals this translucent foggy figure. 
If someone had been walking by, then surely they would have shown up in more than one of the images. Also, the poster says that the cameras captured images of their friend checking the traps at night before. In those photos, the figure is obviously human. It's not foggy, cloudy or white like the figure in this photo. Several viewers thought that the figure looked like a Civil War drummer. It appears to be wearing a distinctive hat and carrying a drum. If you spotted something like this on your property, would you investigate further or think twice about heading into the woods alone? As the UK and the rest of the world mourned the death of Queen Elizabeth, her funeral was broadcast to millions of viewers. However, during ITV News' rolling live coverage of the event, something rather eerie was heard during the broadcast. Take a listen. The death is irreversible and the fact that she's trapped. As you can see... Listening to that again, it sounds like someone says the death is irreversible and the fact that she's trapped. Death is irreversible and the fact that she's trapped. As you can see. There's an awkward pause before one of the anchors tries to maintain composure and comment on what's happening in the visuals. Well, as you can see here in London, it is a lovely day and as the hearse heads out into West London. Naturally, with so many millions of people watching the coverage play out live, this freaky little clip went viral on Twitter. Thousands of retweets racked up as people were shocked by the eerie murmuring. Some people said it could be a co-host whispering, not realising her mic was still on. But the words she whispers are truly bizarre. Some aren't buying this theory, saying it has to be some kind of EVP or electronic voice phenomena. Many paranormal experts believe that spirits and other entities can sometimes communicate via radio waves, delivering messages from the beyond, often in a fragmented or stilted way. They claim that EVPs can be heard as incomplete sentences, single words or jumbled phrases. So far, no one's been able to fully explain this bizarre incident, and unless ITV explains what really happened, this eerie whispering will have to remain a mystery. The death is irreversible and the fact that she's trapped. As you can see, This last image on our list was captured by Reddit user JH5992. While staying in the mountain range of Arabida in Portugal, they saw a fox in the middle of the road and decided to take a picture. However, it seems that the photo has also captured something more mysterious. In the back, there appears to be a white human-shaped figure. The poster notes that the picture was taken near where they were staying and that they had four people standing behind them, all of whom swear that there wasn't anyone else around when the photo was taken. So could this photo show a ghost? Or is there another way to explain the mysterious figure? Unfortunately for now, there's not much other info to run with other than this creepy image. So let me know where you land on this and share your theories with one another in the comments down below. Our first clip of the day was uploaded to the Instagram account Unanswered Universe. It's some security footage taken from some kind of factory in an unknown location. Take a look at what happens. Out of nowhere, the woman's head slams down onto the table. It looks like it's forced down by some kind of unseen presence. The woman is clearly startled as she runs to be comforted by a nearby employee. Some commenters said that the woman might have fallen asleep, but others think it looks far too forceful. Unfortunately, this is one of those clips with almost no info attached to it, so we can't dig any deeper. So I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers. What do you think's going on here? Share your theories in the comments down below.
Tynemouth Priory and Castle dominate a cliff overlooking the River Tyne and the North Sea in the UK. With this area's long and violent history, it's not surprising that one might think they see a ghostly visitor in the area. User Dad Funky Music Boy posted these images to Reddit, which their friend took while visiting the castle's graveyard. Take a look at the pictures side by side and see if you can spot anything out of the ordinary. According to the uploader, the images were captured in quick succession. However, in one, there appears to be an extra person standing on the hill in the distance. It looks like a lady dressed in period clothing. She appears to have a wide brimmed hat and is possibly holding a bag of some description. While the figure does have a ghostly quality about her, one viewer decided to do some detective work and came up with a rather convincing theory. They looked up the location on Google Maps and discovered that the area where the lady is standing is actually different to where the other people are. The photo might have been taken in such a way that makes both areas appear level. Despite this, the woman's attire does seem out of place and a close-up seems to reveal that the figure has a mysterious glow. We'll throw this one out to you, the viewers. Are these images simply a trick of perspective or is the figure really something paranormal? Let me know what you think down below. This next bizarre piece of footage was brought to our attention by viewer David Kay. It's a viral clip that's been spreading around social media this past couple of months. This video shows what should be a joyous moment as this boyfriend proposes to his girlfriend. Everything seems to be going really well until this happens. For some reason, the woman's mood switches and she suddenly becomes agitated and aggressive. She storms around the room yelling. Everyone looks startled and confused. Unfortunately, the clip ends abruptly and we don't get to see how this pans out. Some people have said it could just be a hoax and that it's all set up to generate a bit of social media buzz. But judging by the people's reactions in the background, they genuinely look frightened and confused by the woman's strange reaction. So what do you make of this? Why did this sweet moment suddenly turn so weird? Love to hear your theories on this one in the comments down below. On September 19th, 2022, a mass UFO sighting occurred in both San Diego and Tijuana. In this video posted to Reddit by DD32X, we see various clips of the incident captured by several different people. Take a look. It's unclear whether it's one lone object or several bunched closely together. <laughs> <laughs> While it was initially suggested that the lights might be military flares, the poster disagrees, noting that they appear to be in formation and don't follow a typical flare pattern. Witnesses to the event claimed it lasted for around 25 minutes. In two of the videos, you can actually see a helicopter circling near the lights. Looks to be a military helicopter. Uh, those are like normal, but I wonder if he's going, he or she, whoever's flying it, are going out where the lights are. Adding to the mystery, this image shows the flight patterns of two aircraft that were in the vicinity. Interestingly, the plane in red supposedly shut down its transponder. While there's been no official word on what the lights actually were, this suspicious activity certainly does make you wonder. 
Was this a genuine UFO sighting? We'll keep you posted if and when more information comes to hand. And likes to be a military helicopter. Uh, those are like normal, but I wonder if he's going, he or she, whoever's flying it, are going out where the lights are. Old houses are often favourites of paranormal explorers. With their long histories, it's likely that they hold some sort of mystery. This video, which was posted to the YouTube channel Paranoiacs, is seriously unnerving, and it might make you question whether the investigator is brave or maybe a little crazy. The footage begins as the investigator approaches the rundown property at night. He performs a sweep at the front of the building, and it isn't long before he catches something chilling on camera. Take a look. At first, it might be hard to notice, but if you look closely, you can see that there appears to be a figure peering out of the upstairs window. However, this doesn't stop him from entering the building. Hello. Not long after stepping foot inside the building, a loud crash sends him running. This is when he spots the dark figure in the window for a second time. Hello. Despite this, the investigator decides to enter the house once more. As he continues his investigation, another loud sound can be heard. Then, as he turns back, he notices that two large pieces of wood have moved into the doorway. Still, he ventures up the stairs to the attic, Here he finds a door. However, when he opens it, you can see that it actually leads nowhere. It's as if it's been purposefully sealed. Suddenly, it begins to move. This seems to be about all the investigator can take, and he races down the stairs. At this point, it is a little hard to tell what's actually happening, but it seems as though the investigator is being chased from the property. Unfortunately, once he leaves the house, the footage abruptly ends and we're left wondering what actually happened. <sighs> This photo was sent to us by one of our viewers, Emily Rigby. Emily says she recently took a series of selfies with her sister at their house. However, in one of them, they noticed an eerie detail they can't quite explain. See if you can spot anything off. On the TV, which was off at the time, there appears to be a reflection of a face. Looks like an older woman staring into the room. Emily says that her nan had recently passed away and that it bears a striking resemblance to her. She also says that her sister and her nan had a particularly strong bond. So could this reflection be their nan trying to make contact from the beyond? Take another look and decide for yourself. When it comes to the paranormal, orbs are a topic of hot debate. While some believe that they're ghostly manifestations, others think they're simply dust particles or insects flying near the camera's lens. No matter your stance, this next video will likely have both parties scratching their heads for answers. Take a look. The clip appears to be an excerpt of security footage. It was posted to Reddit by Izzy Does It 1031. However, the description notes that it was actually captured by one Vanessa M of Massachusetts. At first, the dancing orb could easily be explained away as a flying insect or dust particle. But as you continue to watch, you can see that it actually appears to be something else. 
At one point, it hovers over a rabbit sitting on the ground. Watch what happens. A beam of light seems to emanate from the orb. It shines down on the animal, which soon scampers away. Then the orb moves to the left. Looks like it's heading towards a second rabbit. However, as the orb gets closer, it too hops away. So could it be a drone or some sort of mysterious alien technology as many viewers have suggested? Let me know what you think this could be in the comments down below. Espectros de Media Noche is a popular paranormal Facebook page. They regularly investigate notorious and creepy locations around Mexico. In this clip, they search an old cemetery for signs of supernatural activity. Shortly into their investigation, they call out to see if any spirits might be present. A few seconds later, this happens. The gate appears to shake. Spurred on by this eerie activity, the investigator tries using the popular ghost hunting app GhostTube on his phone. The app appears to detect something above the grave. A short while later, as he tries to communicate with a possible spirit, more activity is caught on camera. The gate shakes for a second and third time. The video then ends shortly thereafter. And while a lot of people think the Ghost Tube app is designed to detect things just for a bit of fun, it's a little harder to explain the shaking gate and padlock. There doesn't appear to be any string or wires manipulating it. So what do you think? Is this encounter genuine? Or is there another way to explain what's happening here? Watch the footage again and decide for yourself. This next clip is brief, yet it'll likely linger in your mind for some time. It was posted to the Slaptam community Facebook page by Jason Metcalf with a caption that reveals a rather chilling backstory. In the video, which was captured by an indoor security camera, you can clearly see a shadowy figure as it moves from left to right. It looks tall and appears to have hunched shoulders. According to the poster, the footage was recorded shortly after they heard a noise in the living room. As his wife's parents were staying with them at the time, the poster initially thought that it was just them coming home. However, when he went to check on the situation in person, there was no one around. He then headed back to bed and that's when he received a notification that the camera had detected some suspicious activity. The poster showed the clip to several people. Some thought that there might have been an intruder in the house while others suggested that it looked like a shadow figure. The poster also showed it to his three-year-old daughter. She took one look at the recording and knew exactly who it was. That's my pawpaw, she exclaimed. In 2019, the poster's grandfather passed away in this very house. Since then, he's allegedly heard the little girl having several conversations with their deceased relative. So could it be that the camera picked up the ghost of the poster's grandfather? 
Or is there another way to explain this rather unnerving figure? Let us know down below. Now, in case you haven't heard the awesome news, we've launched a brand new second channel. If you want to see the latest episode, check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a spooky playlist there you can binge on. Now, leave us a comment down below which one of these clips you thought was the scariest or weirdest. We love hearing your feedback. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.